Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use parental control on Android. But before we start, hurry up and check out our daily software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, the first thing you need to do here is you need to install the Family Link app on your Android device. So in this case, you are going to be the parent for this device here, which in this case, go ahead and install the actual app on your device. In this case, once you've installed it, go ahead and click on the Family Link app here. And from here, choose your Google account and just click on continue. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to basically add our child here. Now, by the way, if you want to manage your accounts at the top right, you should be able to change your accounts here. But the top left, if you click on the tree bar icon, you have the option to add a child, parent access code, the manage family option, privacy notice for parents, privacy notice for kids, and as well as the help and feedback option. In this case, since we want to add a child, let's go and click on add a child option. And from here, does your child have a Google account? Let's go and click on yes. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to get the actual child's device. So in this case, you need to go to your settings. And from then on, you need to go to Google and just choose parental controls. Now from then on, for if you're using the Chrome OS devices, you need to go to people and parental controls. In this case, what you need to do is you need to set up parental controls and just click on done below when you're finished. In this case, let's go ahead and switch over to the other account or the other account that we want to set up. But for now, let's go and click on done. In this case, it's going to say add your child's device. You need to set up parental controls, your child's device to use family link. Let's go and click on OK. Now from here, let's go ahead and go back and uh, go back. From here, let's go and exit this one and switch over to the other device. And as you can see right now, we've just switched over to our child's device. In this case, let's go to our settings. So let's go open up settings here. And from here, scroll down a bit until you see the section for Google. Let's go ahead and select it. Now from here, make sure that you've added your child's email address in here, which in this case, I've already added here. But in this case, go ahead and add, him, add it in here if you have it. Now in this case, once you've added it, just scroll down a bit here and look for children and family. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the parental controls option. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on get started. And from here, it's going to say who will be using the device. Let's go ahead and choose child or teenager. And from here, you just need to follow the next step. So in this case, you just need to link your child's Google account with your own account in Google Family Group, choose apps for device set and filters, and from your own device, set controls such as bedtime, screen time limits. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now in this case, it's going to select your child's account. Let's go ahead and choose our email here for our child. And this account will be signed out. So in this case, it's going to click on continue. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to enter the Google account of the account or the parent account here. In this case, let's go ahead and enter the email address itself. So this is going to be the email address of the parent account. Just click on next. And from here, that should actually ask, ask, ask us to actually enter the password. Let's go ahead and enter the password. Now, it should redirect you to this page here, which in this case, you could read a few things there. Like, for example, the control location settings, block or, or approve apps, manage your account settings and controls, and limit screen time here. Let's go ahead and click on the more button here to go to the very bottom. And from here, what we need to do is we need to confirm this one. So we need to enter the password to finish linking the accounts. So in this case, go ahead and enter the password for the child account. And from here, it's going to say allow supervision. Let's go ahead and click on allow and it's going to start linking those two accounts. So in this case, let's just wait for it to fully uh, link those accounts. So in this case, it's going to click on next. And from here, it's going to start managing these apps. So these apps come with a following. So in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to basically, so on the next page, you'll be able to see a section for apps that you might want to remove. So in this case, just click on the off button. But in this case, uh, again, if you want to uh, allow them, make sure it's actually turned on. But in this case, once you turn turned it off, that way, those apps will be removed. But at the very bottom, you should be able to see more button and next button. In this case, it's going to say manage filters and settings here. Google Pay purchases and downloads approval, Google Play apps and games, Google Play films, and a lot more. So going to click on next, and it's going to say manage parent control. So the manage the Renzi settings here remotely, you need to auto install the family link app onto your device here. In this case, you could go and click on install family link here, or you could go and click on skip. But in this case, let's go and click on skip here since we already have it installed. But if you haven't, go ahead and click on install family link here. 
Now from here, it's going to look for a link on your device, click on next, and from then on, you can go ahead and click on review controls. In this case, let's go and exit this one. And from here, what we need to do is we need to open up the actual app here for family link. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to log in into the family link account. In this case, we want to continue with the email for the child. Let's go and click on continue as Z. And from here, it's going to say the family link allow for parents. So in this case, try signing in with your parent Google account, which in this case, you won't be able to do that. In this case, let's go and switch over to our other device or our parent device. Now, in this case, I switched over to my other device, which in this case is going to be my, the parent device. Let's go and open up the family link app. Now from here, once you've logged in, you should now be able to see this section here. Now the top left, if you want to manage the child or even change which child you want to manage, you can go and just select them in here. In this case, uh, the parent access code here allows you to actually access the child's um, account via that specific code that you'll be seeing on the actual screen. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to actually do a few things here. So for example, if you want to set the daily limit for the amount of time that your child spends on device. So if you want to limit that, you can go and click on set up. Now from here, you could set up how many uh, hours they could actually spend on the actual phone. So for example, by default, it's going to be three hours Monday to Friday, but you can change the day itself, how many hours if you want to, but yeah. So if you want to add a schedule, just click on add schedule here. You can add, add a specific date like Sunday and Saturdays. If you want to make this more, you can go ahead and do that as well. But in this case, you can go and click on remove schedule here if you want to. But yeah, so once you've added the time here, you can go and click on the done button. Now, if you want to set the downtime here, decide when the device would actually lock at night. So you could go and click on set up and choose the time when the device would actually lock itself like 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. You could also choose the uh, date for yourself and same thing you could also add a schedule if you want to now in this case we also have the app limits here so it's set time limits for and block apps so for example if you want to basically block a specific app and see how they are spending on that you could go ahead and click on the app itself and from then on you should be able to have the option to either block set the limit or always allow so depending on what you want to allow here or limit you go ahead and do that as well now, in this case, you could go ahead and do that for any apps you want here. But if you click on the gear icon at the top right, you have the option to uh, basically uh, see which app trends you're using for how long. So this allow enables you to use the Family Link app activity here. So let's go ahead and go back in here. So we also have the content restrictions here, meaning you will be able to manage the search results for the child account. In this case, you could even block websites or even uh, limit contents that they'll be seeing on YouTube, Google Play Store, Chrome, Google Search, or even Google Assistant. So for example, you could go into go to YouTube here and even uh, use or go ahead and enable the YouTube restricted mode if you want to. Google Play here, you can change a few things. Like for example, if you want to require approval for all content, so for example, any of the apps that they will be installing on their device. And also you could uh, basically restrict the content for apps and games, movies, TVs, and books as well. Now, you could go ahead and allow that. So you also have the account settings here and devices. So account settings here would give you access to settings or the account info, account supervision, controls for signing in, and controls for third-party apps. For example, if you go to account info here, you, you should be able to see the account info of the child account. Account supervision would allow you to basically um, you see uh, the supervision or the setting supervisions for your for this account. So in this case, if you want to stop supervising the actual account, you can go and just click on I understand here and just click on that stop supervision and your child account should no longer no, no longer be supervised. In this case, we also have the controls for third party apps here. So yeah, obviously there's going to be a lot of settings that you can access here. So let's go ahead and access the other as well. We also have the devices here, which shows you the devices that is available or connected to the account itself. As you can see, uh, you have the unlock option to unlock the actual phone, play sound if you want to look for it, or the screen time. So you could also use the lock screen settings, app settings, and location sharing as well. But yeah, so those are the basics on how to use parental controls on Android for Google Family Link. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.